here we are again. I was just grieving Buffalo. Racism and the death of people in a grocery store and then Laguna Beach and then children in a classroom, pure evil, racism, hatred, and just pure evil. And I'm tired. I, I know we're all tired, but what do we do? I, I know that it's, it's, it's thoughts and prayers. We always have those. It's these pithy little sayings. It's, it's prayers. It's thumbs up. It's I got your back. We're standing with you. But we're at this again. And it seems like all those things have not worked. And we're always looking for somebody else to fix the problem. And maybe, maybe it's just time for us to fix our own problem. Maybe the problem is just us, not collectively, but individually. Maybe we have to make a change. Maybe I have to make a change. Maybe you have to make a change. Maybe we just give somebody a little bit more space. Maybe when that car is merging on, we don't cut them off. We just let them go. And they're not going to wave thank you and it's going to be okay. Just let them go. Or maybe when they cut you off, you don't yell and scream. You just figure maybe they got some place to go. Because if we hit each other, I'm going to be late anyway. Maybe that coworker you don't like, maybe give them just a little bit more grace when they come into the office because we really don't know what they're going through. Maybe it's the barista at your coffee shop that you look them in the eye and say, hey, how you doing? I'm cheering for you. I want the best for you. Maybe we speak hope and life to somebody else. Maybe we just stop throwing rocks at people and get out the comment section. What would it be like for 24 hours if we stayed out the comment section across all social media, just 24 hours? What would that silence be like? That silence would be like hope. That silence would be the new sound of peace. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Let's not wait for anybody else to take action. Let's take action ourselves. I know we talk about laws and guns and everything. You know what? It's going to be what it's going to be, but I think it starts with us, each one of us. Let's today start something a little different. Let's give some people some space. Let's not be angry today. Let's not be anxious today. Let's not be frustrated today. We live in this crucible of a world where everything is tight and, and, and crushing, and maybe we just take a step back and a step up and get out the weeds and just breathe a little bit. Say hello to that neighbor you don't like. Smile at somebody. How about we forgive people? Let's start in our own mind. Let's forgive somebody up here. That's where it starts in our mind. Then it goes into our words and then our actions. Then we start rolling down this road. Sometimes irreversibly. How about we start then? We change how we view people. We give them a little bit more space, some grace. We give them joy and not take life from them. We breathe hope with them. How about that? How about we be responsible for our own actions on a daily basis and not get mad? What if we did for one day? Maybe two days, three. Let's not push it. I'm not saying the whole week, but can we just start with today? How about a smile to somebody that, that's grieving? How about you pick up the phone and you call a friend and you say, hey, how you doing? No, no. How are you really, really doing? Ask them the hard questions. Don't throw rocks. Maybe today you just don't have a comment about what's going on with anybody else but yourself. Maybe we learn how just to shut up for a day. This may not solve all the problems of the world, but I tell you what, it'll solve the beef that you have with somebody else. It'll solve the anger I have with somebody else who cuts me off, who comes in line, that I feel slighted by, who looked at you wrong. And enough. Enough. Let's start a little different today. It's our responsibility. Buffalo, Laguna Hills, and these children in a classroom in Uvalde, Texas, they're teachers. It's horrific. We have to do better. Humanity has to do better. Don't leave it to politicians because they're not going to fix it. Don't leave it to somebody else. They're not going to fix it. It starts with us, individuals, trying to make a difference to the people we encounter every day. We cross paths with people every day in the elevator, on the streets, at work, at the gym. Look at people in their eyes. Good morning, how are you? Good to see you today. Have a great day. Let's encounter people. Let's hope the best for people. Let's breathe the best life with them. Life is short. Twinkling of an eye. Let's enjoy every moment of it. 
and let's make someone else's life just a little better because we crossed their path. That's all we can do. Do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm encouraging you to do the same. I'm not doing this for, for likes or shares, but do share it. Share with people around you. Share it with your group of friends and say, you know what, today we're going to make a difference. And if one makes a difference, then two make a difference, and ten make a difference, maybe in your community, maybe in your school, maybe on your block, things begin to change. But it starts with one. My question is, will you be that one? I know for me, I will.